Hello, this is Mighty Owl. All around you, there are groups of objects in all shapes and sizes. Maybe you have a couple of sets of crayons on your desk. Or maybe there are a few bunches of grapes in your fridge. When you have a lot of groups of something, it may be harder to figure out the total number of objects. Multiplication can help you with that. Let me show you how to use multiplication as groups. Here we have leaves on a branch. There is one group of four leaves. You just learned that you can write this as a multiplication problem. One group of four can be written as one times four because there is one group of leaves and there are four leaves in total. One times four is equal to four. Let's say you added another group of leaves, so now you have two groups of four leaves. You can write this as two times four. You can also think of this as four plus four. Even when writing it using addition, you can see that there are two fours, one for each group of four leaves. Two times four, or four plus four, is eight. Two groups of four leaves have a total of eight leaves. What about if you add another group of four leaves? To find the total number of leaves, you can multiply three times four. This can also be written as four plus four plus four, and you can count them to find out that the total number of leaves is 12. Look at this example. You want to figure out how many groups of how many leaves there are. Circling the groups, you can see that there are five groups in total. You can fill in the first blank with five. Next, count how many leaves are in one of the circled groups. There are three leaves in the group. You can fill the second blank with three. So, the answer is there are five groups of three leaves. Here is another example of multiplication as groups. This time, you are being asked how many groups are there and how many frogs are in each group. The problem also wants the total number of frogs. You can circle each group of frogs. You made five circles, so there are five groups. The number five goes in the first blank. Next, count the number of frogs in each group. There are two frogs in each group. The number two goes in the next blank. You now have five groups of two frogs. To find how many total frogs there are, you can write five groups of two as five times two. You can count the frogs or use skip counting to find that five groups of two is a total of 10. The answer is there are a total of 10 frogs. You can practice multiplication as groups now. Here's a practice problem for you to try. This problem has plates of cookies. Each plate is a group. You count and see that there are six groups. This goes in the first blank. Next, you want to find out how many cookies are on each plate. There are three cookies on each plate. Three goes in the second blank. So far, you have determined that there are six groups of three cookies. You can write this as a multiplication problem. Six groups of three is six times three. You can use skip counting or adding to find that the answer to six times three is equal to 18. Here is another practice problem. There are apples in baskets. The problem wants you to find out how many groups of how many apples there are. The baskets are the groups, so there are four groups. Four goes in the first blank. Now, go ahead and count the number of apples in the basket. There are 10 apples in each basket, so 10 goes in the second blank. You have determined that there are four groups of 10 apples. You can now write this as a multiplication sentence. Four groups of 10 is written as four times 10. Four tens is also known as 40, so there are a total of 40 apples. Now the last practice problem. There are flowers in a pot. The problem wants you to find out how many groups of how many flowers are there. The pots are the groups, so you can count the number of pots to find the answer to the first blank. There are two groups. Now you want to count the number of flowers in each group. There are seven flowers in each group. You have determined that there are two groups of seven flowers. When you write this as a multiplication problem, you will get two times seven. 
Now you can find the total number of flowers. The answer to 2 times 7 is 14 total flowers. Great work! To sum up, you have been working on multiplication with groups. By finding the number of groups and how many items in the group, you are able to turn words into multiplication problems. What a great job you did solving them to find the total number of objects. Wow, you learned a lot. See you next lesson.